Hi guys, Lord Lemon is back with Cossacks 3. For today I want to show show you two VS2 battle online battle here. I'm playing for Prussia and then uh, options are we had here conditions we had here thousands and without peacetime. I have already built up my town hall, I have to build up the blacksmiths and the 17th century barracks to produce as much pikemen as I can. Because uh, when you are playing with thousands it's and without peacetime it's crucial to get more troops at the beginning, not to let enemy troops to capture your base. So I am doing my best. Okay, I could support myself two barracks and I have ordered the infinite pikemen from there. Actually, I need gold too. I need to be prepared for longer, bat longer battles. Okay. Before upgrading pikemen, I want to upgrade the mill. But I am short of uh, resources here. Okay, academy is very good. I need them. Okay, I have enough. Enough troops to send and scout the enemy base. Actually in this game I don't know how to send uh, messages only to my allies, that's why I'm not sending any. Because uh, if I could uh, I would say to my ally that he could send some troops to the west. Because we could, uh, together we could easily capture that, that base. But for now I'm... I can't do this. It was as I have uh, read somewhere that uh, with control enter I can send only uh, only to my teammates, but um, I don't know. I I don't want to risk, of course. Okay, my guys are here. Let's send the second wave. Yep. He has mentioned it. I think he's a skilled player and this is not the first battle he's playing in this game. Because I have seen I have I think that he has seen my manor and he's doing the same. He's sending some pikemen to the west. Let's see what will be here. Actually he's playing for France. I remember so. Okay, Adam uh, newly created pi pikemen I'm gathering to the east. Because I'm afraid that uh, the eastern, my, my eastern enemy will come without any, any warnings. Yep, I have discovered the scout of enemy. He has discovered me too and now he is preparing for uh, how, how much food does it need. Okay and for now he is taking actions to protect his base. Cause he have, he have seen how many pikemen I have sent. Okay I think uh, he is, uh, I think he is uh, Ukraine cause those uh, gunner was was looking like Serduk, Ukrainian Serduk. Okay, yes, this is Ukrainian peasant, definitely it is.
Okay, I have killed. Actually, I could not capture that that peasant. Okay, these settlers are here. Let's cut our troops and chase one by one. Come on, kill this guy. Yep, he's dead now. This point I come out here too. Doing the same. Okay, look, he is very unprotected now. That's why I don't like thousands and without his time, because the game will end very soon for one or more players. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, the eastern neighbor is here, scouting my troops. Yep, now Ukraine tries, I think he's trying to to send his rest peasants and troops to the North East, to his ally. Let's see what his ally will offer me. Yep, the Russian peasant is here. Okay, everything is clear for now. Actually, Ukraine did not have enough time to protect himself because they don't have pikemen and it was far away to build up this table. So without only with Sir Dukes he could not resist against my pikemen. Okay, everything is clear here. I want to send all of my troops to the northeast. Look at poor Sir Dukes. I will upgrade my mind. Okay, I'm sending these guys to capture the way to the Ukrainians to rejoin the Russians. In case if a uh, Russian Russian troop Russian player has a good defense. Uh, Ukraine will manage to build up a base in his in his part of the map. I don't want this to happen because we have to eliminate Ukrainians till the end and then will be two vs one battle there. Come here, yep, I caught him, but some of them escaped, escaped, oh no, there was a heal and my guy stopped, come here, okay, let's come here and see what Russia can offer, come on. Because uh, Russia has uh, 84 points of development, he is far away from me and for my ally too. Oh, for now I can build another town hall, it's good. Here the Ukrainians are building up the town hall but it's very far it's way at the edge of the russian base that's why the first thing i have to do is to kill the 
Ukrainian peasants. Oh damn, they they managed to kill my pikemen. Oh, the Russians are here. Okay. Where are my troops? Coming wave by wave. I need more food to create more troops. And of course I need wood and stone to build up more buildings and upgrade my base. Okay, here I have I think huge amount of pikemen. I can go oh here they are coming. I think the Russian pikeman is more stronger than is stronger than uh, the uh, Prussian one but I'm not sure let's see what happens here and there is one more point that my pikemen are not upgraded and oh he managed to come my troops no no, he could not. Okay, I think it's the same. It's the same thing with Russian and Prussian pikemen. Maybe the Russian pikemen is a bit better, not much more. Okay, I don't need any lazy peasants. Everyone should work. Everyone should work for Empire. Okay, I have captured the Ukrainian town hall. I'm killing the creative dragoons at the very gate of the diplomatic center. Okay, this is the end for, for the alliance of Russians and Ukrainians. He's burning the buildings. Yep. Okay, it's a victory. It was easy. I said the reason why I don't, I don't like thousands and no peace time. And if you like my videos and want more, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.